state as its okay there conjugate bases these are conjugate bases acetate is a conjugate base of acetic acid cyanide is a conjugate base of hydrocyanic acid hydrocarbonate or sulf carbonate these are the conjugate bases of the carbonic acid fluoride is a conjugate base of the hydrofluoric uh, acid so dear students uh, uh, the conjugate base conjugate base which is formed from the weak acids are always strong must remember conjugate base is a strong base formed from weak acids weak acids give strong conjugate bases this is the point you have to remember weak acids give strong conjugate base and their salts are basic nature their salts are basic in nature weak acids these are the weak acids broad state acids form strong conjugate base after hydrolysis they give basic solution i will give you proof first technical point then i will give you proof so this is the acetate a strong conjugate base a strong conjugate base upon hydrolysis this is a negative this positive so you will get the weak acid this is the weak acid and this hydroxyl ion which is formed from a strong base weak acid is going to be formed and these hydroxide ions in aqueous solution are completely ionized they are formed from the strong base so that is why the solution overall solution is basic the overall solution is basic oh now i'm going to write in one line configuration in the previous lecture i told you uh, this is the acetic acid as acetic ions acetic acid we are talking about the salt hydrolysis so suppose you are taking sodium acetate we are only talking about this one i am not talking about this we have a point another one this is a sodium acetate salt because we are talking about salt hydrolysis so this is the hydrolysis last result this is the technical point you must write this one and then in the last you have to write this acetate negative sodium positive so you will get acetic acid already i told you this is a weak acid and sodium hydroxide is strong base you will get acetic acid the weak acid and salt is strong so uh, acetic acid only Uh, I think I like five percent or three point three percent by this one. So very weak hydrogen ions are very less in the water. This is a complete uh, ionization system. I don't say strong, very bright. So the nature of this salt 
नेचर ऑफ दिस सॉल्ट इज बेसिक इन एक्वेस सॉल्यूशन सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू हैव अ सोडियम एसिटेट सॉल्ट इन द लेबोरेटरी मस्ट बी इन द सॉलिड स्टेट when you dissolve in water when you check by the litmus paper so blue litmus paper turns to red blue litmus paper turns red indicates that uh, sorry red litmus paper turn to a uh, blue red litmus paper litmus paper turns to blue indicates that the salt is a basic there will be a no effect on the blue litmus litmus paper only effect on the red litmus paper it changes into blue indicates that the salt is a basic and this is the chemical analysis we give the answer for this one all all the strong conjugate bases give the basic solution so just like uh, if you have a hydrogen carbonate bicarbonate we call hydrogen carbonate in aqueous solution bicarbonate after hydrolysis after hydrolysis uh, you will get the carbonic acid and you know carbonic acid is a weak weak acid it is a weak acid and uh, hydroxide ions are going to form they must be strong they must be strong so that is why uh, carbonic acid is a weak acid the so salts of salts of bicarbonate sodium bicarbonate uh, sodium carbonate potassium carbonate potassium bicarbonate the so salts of Uh, carbonates and bicarbonates are also basic in nature so if you have a sodium bicarbonate or sodium carbonate potassium bicarbonate any bicarbonate carbonate salt so when you are dissolved in water test with the litmus papers so red litmus paper turns to blue it indicates that the solution is basic so main idea is that we bronzeate acids have a strong conjugate bases upon hydrolysis give basic solutions this is the main idea in the last you write like this this is sodium acetate write sodium carbonate sodium bicarbonate sodium cyanide potassium cyanide Like this one, sodium fluoride, potassium fluoride. In the last, you write this. Ultimately, you will get the weak acid and strong base. It is confirmed that the solution is basic. So this is the one point. This is the one point for the basic solutions.
Yes. Nitric acid must be nitrate and hydrochloric acid must be chloride and sulfuric acid must sulfate and cyanochloric acid, hydroiodic acid, they must get bromide ions and iodide ions respectively. So the turning point is that same, same argument, same reason I have explained. Strong acids means the bronze state acids. These are the bronze state acids. These are a weak conjugate bases. Always strong bronze state acids give weak conjugate bases. So, dear students, weak conjugate bases do not react with water. No chemical reaction with water. No reaction. Third point. This is a point number two. Continuation with this one. Third point. Cash ions. Potassium. Sodium. Calcium, magnesium. These are the cash ions written in the book. Cash ions of the strong bases. So these cash ions like sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium are so weak. These are the weak, weak conjugate acids. These are the weak conjugate acids of strong base potassium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide. So these are the weak conjugate acids of strong base. Both do not react with water. No hydrolysis practically. Means if you are making a salt of cash ions and anion I am giving you proof. If you are making the salt of weak conjugate acid and weak conjugate base that is a potassium nitrate, very important salt. And we done that, both they don't react but if you hydrolyze it, so uh, you will get the neutral solution. You will get neutron solution for all. Potassium reacts with OH, must form potassium hydroxide, very strong base. Nitrate with the hydrogen to give a nitric acid, very strong acid. Top. Nitric acid is strong acid, potassium hydroxide is strong base. So both are strong, so hydrogen ion concentration is equal to hydroxyl ion concentration, so that's why the solution must be neutral. The solution must be neutral. So potassium nitrate, sodium chloride, calcium chloride, sodium sulfate, potassium iodide, potassium bromide, magnesium iodide, all they have the neutral, no uh, effect on the both blue or red litmus papers. No effect. They show neutral. If you say I'm writing another one, sodium chloride, table salt, it shows neutral character. Sodium hydroxide, very strong alkali. Hydrochloric acid, very strong acid. So both equal. They show both equal strength. Neutral. So the scientific reason I told you, 
Nitric acid, strong acid, strong acid, strong acid, strong acid. They must give the weak conjugate bases. So these weak conjugate bases do not react with water. Likewise, the strong bases, potassium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, and these calcium magnesium also, their cations, their acid conjugate acids are so weak. They do not hydrolyze. Make them ion, hydrolyze them, neutral solution you will get. So, this is an important point. You must know number two and number three, the last number four. Last for four, ammonium hydroxide, copper hydroxide, ammonium hydroxide, copper hydroxide, aluminum hydroxide. Uh, these are weak bases. These are weak bases. So these weak bases give. Ammonium ion positive, copper ion positive, aluminum ion positive. So these weak bases give a strong conjugate acids. Weak bases give a strong conjugate acids, ammonium positive, acidic radicals. Acid, ammonium, copper and aluminium, they are strong conjugate acids. So dear students, written here that Weak bases are strong conjugate acids such as like copper ion, aluminium ion, ammonium ion. So, dear students, their uh, salts, their salts are acidic. Their salts are acidic in nature. Their salts are acidic in nature. So, ammonium, hydrolysis, ammonium hydroxide, weak base, and Hydrogen ions, strong acids. So this, their salts are acidic nature. Copper, hydrolysis, copper hydroxide, weak, weak base. And hydrogen ions excess strong acid the salt is acidic. Salt is acidic in the last I am going to prove that ammonium ammonium chloride this chloride does not react already I told you ammonium chloride upon hydrolysis to form ammonium hydroxide weak base and HCl strong Acid solution is acidic. Ammonium chloride, if you dissolve in water, 
If you dissolve in water and test with the litmus paper, the blue litmus paper changes into red shows acidic properties. So the salt of copper, salt copper sulfate, just like I am writing directly, copper sulfate, blue white chrome if it is hydrated, if it is hydrated, anhydrous white. If I write this, this is an anhydrous white. So you will get copper hydroxide and copper hydroxide definitely is a weak base. Weak base and sulfuric acid is a well known uh, king of the chemicals, sulfuric acid, very strong, strong acid and the overall solution of copper uh, sulfate is acidic in nature. So dear students, this is called a salt hydrolysis. Salt hydrolysis. So here chapter is going to be uh, finished after the salt hydrolysis. Uh, you have uh, many uh, questions here you have to solve just like if you see the uh, short questions number seven classify each of the following as a prostrate acid or prostrate base bicarbonate hydrogen bromide acetate so uh, prostrate acid and prostrate base can, can be identified with the water if you react with water, you can uh, say that which is the brown state acid and which is the brown state base. And also you have a pK value and pK value like this one. And if you see the long answers, uh, question number 6. What is the hydrolysis? Discuss in detail the behavior of each of the following salts in their aqua solution. Potassium carbonate. Potassium does not react to carbonate in basic solution. Ammonium chloride does. Chloride does not react to ammonium in acid solution. Sodium nitrate. Sodium does not react. Nitrate does not react. The solution is a neutral. You should write with the uh, reason. Again, question number 10. Lost. What is the hydrolysis? Write the equation of hydrolysis in equilibrium for each of the following lithium, ammonium and cyanide like this one, ammonium like this one, cyanide and also lithium. So if you are, if I am going to write some problem here, cyanide, lithium, cyanide, You will get hydrocyanic acid weak. Hydrocyanic acid is weak, and the uh, uh, hydroxyl ion solution is basic. Solution is basic because this is strong. And lithium ion, lithium does not react with water. Lithium does not react with water, it's strong. Lithium, sodium, potassium, they don't react with water. So these are the buffer solutions. You know what are the solutions. So we complete it here. So dear students, in the next lecture, inshallah, we start chapter number 9, chemical kinetics. So please, you have to rise many times. At home, exercise questions and other topics. Uh, thank you very much.